Why did I load my save game and then a bunch of um, dollar signs just appear above my head? Welcome back, Internet people. My name's Ryan. Today we are enjoying... Such beautiful genius. It's desperate how his wives. It's bothersome children. Look at them. Look at them just sitting here. They have no idea what's coming. I almost feel gross. Oh, I have to the worry these booty Perhaps shorts. To talk to strangers. I'm not a stranger. I'm your neighbor, Mrs. Lewis. I bet you'd be a lot more friendly if I came bearing gifts. We're not supposed to talk to strangers. Oh. Okay. All right. So it appears what this game's solution is for this issue is to bribe the children with cookies or candy. Where do I get cookies or candy? Oh, I have to purchase it from the pharmacy. All right. I can definitely do that. Before I purchase cookies or candy on, or uh, for, to bribe these children with, just to get them to admit to their crimes. Maybe I should, uh, who's this guy with the dumb hair? Darwin? Something about Darwin Awards? reproduce with someone with hair that looks like that? I don't know. Um, I guess, oh, the door's gonna disappear any second now. Darwin doesn't care though. There it goes. I guess I have to talk to uh, Dr. Henriksen because I'm kind of crazy. Is this where I get to reveal to him that I'm uh, I'm a kleptomaniac. Hello again. And uh, I'm Very addicted good to, to see sex. You. Hi. So, since our last session, how have things been settling for you? Well, my son's already involved with some bad business. As for me, things are okay. I'm just getting to know the neighbors a bit. I'm getting to know what color underwear they wear. Sometimes the only way for us to see our true colors is to <laughs> work through tough situations. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But it sounds to me like you're taking everything in stride and doing well. Good that's, for you. That's because I'm lying to you. Speaking of your son, how was it dealing with your lack of recollection and his childhood? You have no idea what it's like to be a mother and have no memory of holding your baby in your arms for the first time. And as time went on? Life was good, on the surface at least. But I couldn't quite get over this feeling that I was living a dream. And your husband, how did he react to all of this? He barely left me alone during the first few years. He was so patient and I love him for it. Sure, I'll say I love my husband. I like lying to people, after all. It sounds like he has played a very strong supporting role in your life. He has, and I appreciate it. And I love my marriage, but I feel like a huge chunk of me is missing. My liver that my husband stole and sold on the black market. Well, that is what we're here to find out. And I'm sure that he has interest in you rediscovering your past as well. So... Let's begin by retracing the steps with your earliest memories, and work forward. Well, memories I do have of my early years are cheerful. It's after that, around 14 years old. What is that memory? Well, it's pretty hazy, but I remember a boy, and I was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? Something bad may have happened, such as, uh, uh, Chad Kroger. It's pretty hard to remember. It's all right. Just follow what you do remember. Eventually, the floodgates will open. So what do you remember after that? I don't know. Why can't I remember? It's okay. We'll stop there. Perhaps some time to think about this period of your life will help you recall something. I'll give you a call for your next appointment in a week or so, and we will continue. Have a great day now. Delightful. Why isn't my husband at work? Hey, another prescription pad. I think I have a coupon that I can use at the boutique. I'm going to take advantage of it. 
Oh, I don't want any of this shit, though. I forgot that everything in there is terrible. Oh, look, I got points from just going into a store and shopping. Oh my god, of course I did. Of course shopping gives you points. I'll buy some, cho I'll buy some chocolate. And eh, you know what? I'll buy the perfume. I'll buy the herbal tea. I'll buy some PTSD medication while I'm at it. And maybe a muscle relaxant. Some anxiety medication. Acuity medication, of course. All right. I want the PTSD medication so I can use it for bribing people. What is this odds and ends pawn shop? Oh, this is where I can sell all my shit? Oh, fucking sweet. Here, I got an MP3 player. Look at that. Look at that not an iPod MP3 player. And you know, this jewelry and this jewelry. Oh, I don't want a free top. Oh, I do want a facial though. I love those. I forgot I had all. I got, I got to use these coupons, man. All right, McAllisters and in the salon. I'm gonna go to the salon. I'm gonna get a facial. I may have to cut a portion of this video. Blanca Lewis is now a lesbian, because she had sex with that maid. And this is what lesbian's hair looks like. It's red. It's fiery and red. I don't know how to use coupons. I'm assuming I didn't use a coupon. Hello, young child! Not how are you? Not supposed to talk to strangers. Would you, be con would you consider me a stranger if I had some chocolate for you? I wouldn't be a stranger then, would I? Did you see Mr. Davenport? Is he a zombie? <laughs> saw that you guys were in Mrs. Davenport's garden. Why were you there? If you promise not to tell our parents, Mrs. Davenport buried her husband in her garden. With it all messed up, we thought he rose from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Tell me about Mr. Davenport. When Mr. Davenport died, Dad told Mom that Mrs. Davenport's garden was all messed up. So we figured that she must have buried him in there. <laughs> what else about Mr. Davenport uh, you haven't told me yet? Nothing. Except that one day he just up and disappeared. About a week later, she said that he had died while visiting family. This is great. You know... I talked with Mr. Davenport not too long ago. He told me that if you weren't good little boys, that he would rise from his grave and come after you. That's silly. Everyone knows that zombies can't talk. You're lying. <laughs> These kids are fucking sharp. Oh man, this is my favorite. Oh, hey, people are waiting for a meal from me. I guess I could do that. Uh, but first let's find out what happened to Davenport. Using the pa using the internet. I don't care about marriages. Rodney James Rod Davenport, passed of cardiac arrest at age 72, who is a loving husband and wonderful companion. He leaves behind a wife, Etta Davenport of Wisteria Lane. This obituary has been retracted. Elizabeth and Rodney Davenport wed today in the small ceremony at St. Peter's Church of the Catholic Faith. The new Mrs. Davenport, a longtime local of the area, works as a volunteer at the Veterans Memorial Senior Center. Mr. Davenport, called Rod by his friends, comes by way of Fairview and also volunteers at the Senior Center. Uh, I guess I learned a secret somehow, so I'm not quite sure what it was. Maybe I will take advantage of this fact. Alright, fucking, I'll make you some dinner. Jesus Christ. I'll make you some French toast, fellas. Egg goes in bowl. I beat the eggs. Just like I beat everyone that hates me. Put in here. Put all this shit. Stir. Look at this. I'm a cooking master. How do I... F
Hey guys. I made you French toast for um two two forty in the afternoon food time. Also I have a new haircut. It's terrible and ugly. Just like my soul. Devonport. Devonport. Hello. I haven't had a chance to speak with that Delfino character. He said that Bongo doesn't leave his yard unless he's on a leash. And he wonders why you think Bongo did it. I don't have to justify myself to him or you. I know it was that flea bag. Mrs. Davenport, I know the truth about Rod. The truth? What, what the devil are you talking about? Don't play dumb. Rod isn't dead. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Of course my beloved Rod is dead. Well, maybe to you he is, but surely that... Oh, it, was, it wasn't... It wasn't... It was a different woman. It's because we don't know this woman's first name. I... <laughs> I just assumed it was Etta. Well, maybe to you he is, but surely that new wife of his will find out just how alive he is on their honeymoon. No! Rod! No! Now the fucking sobbing routine? I am so over you and your act. All right, let's let, let let's let's let that man uh, that this game has decided. <laughs> Wait, where does he live? Oh, I don't want to talk to Mike Delfino. Oh no, yeah, I do. I keep mixing up the names. I keep thinking the Delfinos are the foxes and the other way around. By Delfinos, I mean this one suspiciously um, unwed man. Hello. Found Wait. anything new that might be able to help with this Mrs. Davenport situation? Of course. I took care of things like I always do. Thanks for clearing that situation up. I really appreciate it. Oh, God. Are we gonna fuck now? Alright. Well, the best I can do is offer you free plumbing services. Anytime you have a leak, let me know. Thanks again. <laughs> Yay. Well... He avoided my advancements like a pro. Good for him. I think the last thing I have to do on this on or in this map do those, are the wait, but let's This kid's just gonna stand there? What are they looking at? Are they looking at this pole? Or are they casing uh uh this house? Whose house is this? Breeze? No, they're probably just looking at the pole. They seem to be really, really stupid. Intensely stupid. Alright, I have to upgrade a thousand dollars worth of something in my house. I can do that. What will it be? You know, I think this couch is just the worst. Uh... I want something ugly. I want ugly couches. I like this one. But this one is uglier. No, this one's dumb. I'll get this dumb couch. And we'll upgrade a chair. Uh, oh man. Oh man, do I want to spend $1,800 on this hideous green chair? Oh god, yes I do. Alright, I improved my home. Now I get to be in a fashion show or something. I guess I'll be part of that fashion show or something later. Uh, we're gonna make that an episode. Next time, more of this. Competition. It's hardwired into us from an early age. It can bring out the best, as well as the worst. And while every competition has its winners, it must by definition have its losers as well. 
Sometimes it's best to stand back in order to allow others to shine.